Everyone knows the goalkeeper can't handle the ball when it's passed back by a teammate. But there's a few details in the back pass guidance for referees that you probably didn't know about. So let's take a closer look. Firstly, the IFAB, which is the organisation who make the laws or rules, say that a pass back to the keeper is determined by it being kicked, specifically the foot or ankle. So according to their guidance, a teammate can deliberately pass the ball back to the keeper using any other part of their body, obviously not the arms or hands, as long as the ankle or foot has not been used at any time. Want to use your knee or thigh like Romero did for Argentina at the World Cup? No problem. Want to even use your shin to pass back to the keeper? No problem according to this guidance. Although you may find that most referees wouldn't allow this, as it would be difficult to determine if a player has used their shin or foot without the benefit of TV replays. Bear in mind that if the referee believes you are trying to circumvent the spirit of the law by lying down on the ground and heading the ball, for example, an indirect free kick will likely be given, even if the keeper doesn't touch it with their hands. The trick to circumvent the law is an offence on its own. Now on to another element of the guidance that is likely not widely known. A player passes to a teammate who doesn't touch it, and then the ball goes to the keeper who picks it up. As long as the referee is confident the pass was not initially intended for the keeper, no offence has been committed. Next we have an issue that is almost certainly not known by most players, or referees for that matter. Let's say the keeper receives a back pass and swings for the ball with his foot, but misses it or simply tries to clear it and fails. Then the keeper is able to retrieve the ball and pick it up before an opponent gets to it. Again, no offence has been committed. Finally, we have an accidental touch of the hand or arm. For example, the keeper tries to control a back pass, but the ball accidentally bounces off their hand or arm. As long as the referee believes it was an accidental touch, play is allowed to continue as no offence has been committed. To summarise the main point again, you can legally use your shin, thigh or knee to intentionally pass back to the keeper. Most players use their chest or head when appropriate, but rarely do you see a player use another body part. If you've ever seen anyone pass back with their shin or thigh by the way, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, hopefully you've learned something new from this video. As always, thanks for watching.